All right, folks, the deck is Jadr. The goal is, of course, to shuffle idols through your deck towards the late stages of the game and ramp up your jades. Prior to that, you do have a Guardian Animals package so that you can play for board in the mid to early game. You can get there a little bit quicker with Lightning Bloom and Jade Blossom. Then at the top end, the deck has Yasera Unleashed for additional layers of threats and Yogg-Saron Hope's End for a little bit of chaos. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! I think I'd keep the guardian animals and just like hunt for um, Jade Blossom as well, or Lightning Bloom and Jade Blossom. Hello. My greetings. My greetings. Okay, I guess I'm coining this out. Why no overgrowth? Because I can only add 30 cards to my deck. And that did not seem like one of the best 30 cards. Favi, thank you for the Twitch Prime. We have many secrets. Easy Vargoth? Oh god. You better give me Vargoth after this one. Beautiful. Behold. Do you like to yog ASAP or only when you've played as many spells as humanly possible? Usually as after I play enough spells, but like there's some situations where you don't really have much of a choice and you just kind of need to yog. Unlucky. What do you think of the $10 Tavern Brawl they announced? I think I'm not paying $10 for it, but, uh, like... <laughs> I'll pay gold for it. It's one of my favorite game modes, and I wish it were permanent, is what I think about it. That's a really good draw, by the way. Have I played Odd Hunter recently? No. I don't think it's uh, very good or terribly interesting most of the time. Even if it's standard? Um, I mean, I'll play it off-stream if it's standard. But I would just like it to be a permanent game mode for both wild and standard. Minus two, by the way, chat. Minus two. The future is ours. Behold the tools of creation. Next turn I'm playing this, so I should have enough card draw. Hey Brontosaurus boy! Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Snake Slayer as well. Yeah, there's the Alunith. We can almost keep pace with our card draw here. This is a decent card to test for uh, counter spell at this point, right? Because it's one of my least important cards. Honestly, I could even test with Jade Idol because uh, fatigue is not really as much of a concern for me as it is the opponent. You're not ready for this. Time the cover. So much for that card draw. Have I mentioned that I hate the Flak Mage chat? Have I told you about how much I hate Flak Mage? Nope. Kill that first. We're gonna yog here, by the way. Because I need to do it before the opponent, like, draws their deck or kills us. Okay. Yeah. Good. Oh my god, this yog. What? The vivid spores? Oh my. 
That's so good on the Grizzlies. Okay, so there's definitely a flame ward that's up right now, chat. The thing about that is that it just doesn't really matter when... Like, I can just let them fatigue out for a while. Uh, we've already tested for dupe. I guess I will attack face. I could have popped the block, but I don't think it matters that much. We're just gonna let them fatigue out. Nice. So good. And now we're gonna kill him. Hey, we got Yogg back. Lethal. Lettle? Lettle. I missed Lettle? Pretty confident in its ice block there. So I don't think it would have been Lettle. Just lightning bloom a jade blossom, lol. Actually, I probably want to lightning storm that, right? Does this actually get me there faster? No, I play this on three, then I go to five, then I can play this behind it. So I just play this on four. Whereas if I do this now, I go from two to three, and then I, yeah, it's faster to wait. Oh god. This is fine. Guardian animals will save me. And actually drawing the Twilight Runner isn't necessarily a bad thing because it makes it more likely I hit the Grizzlies. Kylai, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the Raffle Rebel. Okay, please don't kill me next turn. I have to play this, there's no choice, because I need to get to the um, the Guardian Animals next turn. Savage Roar is 7 plus 12, 14, Still hit the runner, but I suppose I could use the card draw. That's a good draw. Job done. Pirates away! I don't think uh, that's how that card's meant to work. We still don't get through without a Mark of the Lotus. Oh my god. I got really lucky they didn't hit Mark. Alright, next turn we can either go Malfurion or Jade Blossom Branching Paths. How much effectiveness would you say the deck loses if I don't have Vargoth, Malfurion, or Yogg? Um, pretty fair amount. 
Like, those aren't strictly mandatory cards, but they're... Like, the Yogg isn't optimal. He's just fun. Uh, Vargoth, I mean, is, like, the main reason you're running the Oaken Summon package. And uh, what was the other one? Malfurion? Malfurion's good, like, late game value. I think we're just Malfurion here. Spooters? Always Spooters. From the looks of it, this is basically just a control druid. Uh, sometimes, like with the uh, guardian animals, you have uh, the potential for like mid-game aggression. So it really depends on your matchup. Let me work my magic. Surprised people haven't put the new six mana legendary in here. Unless you play four idols followed by a UI. I mean, if you're at that stage in the game where that's an a play that's available to you. I feel like you've already won. This isn't going to the late game. We're just setting up for double branch and pass next turn for our, like, Savage Roar. Backswing type thing. I can't win them all. Boo. I wait for no one. Quest Mage is fine. Wow, double blossom. Job done. Of course it's the right way. This means I get an earlier, so I can go here and get uh, Guardian Animals down next turn. I think I probably need to kill that. Could also get the uh, the Malfurion down, but Tom Servo, I give you the three months of Prime. That's for the free entertainment raffle. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for always having something witty to say during uh, Mystery Science Theater. Much appreciated. Well then, I was hoping for card draw, but I guess I have the uh, the UI. It's not free? Since when? What do you do during your free time? Um... I play games, just uh, not in Hearthstone games. Um, I don't know, normal stuff. I cook and eat food. Guardian animals nerf incoming. I mean, it's possible. It's pretty strong in standard as well, but I don't think. But I don't know that it necessarily warrants a nerf yet. People just hate it. <laughs> Like as a card. For the wild. The opponent got a lot of cards off of that cyclone. People have been spoiled by nerfs, cards are allowed to be strong. Careful now. <laughs> uh. You don't want to hear Twitch chat, or you don't want to have Twitch chat here and you say that. I don't think they're going to throw out a giant here, so I'm just going to go scarabs like a coward and gain some armor. Can you just leave my minions alone, please? Nice. Also nice. I'm gonna keep this hidden because it just dies to a ping and like I don't need to draw more cards when I'm gonna throw this UI at their face. That's not Yogg. 
That's not Yogg. Eh, that's not Yogg. It's unfortunate. Could odd Jade Druid be a thing? It could, but... I don't know that it would be a good one. Eh. I mean, with the uh, the Guardian Animals package, yeah, it might be worthwhile. Kind of want to save the uh, spellstone here. Play around duplicate and just hero power that down. Druid without Plague or UI. I mean, you get like what the um, you get the heal version of UI. That's you get the worse UI for seven mana. But I don't even know if you'd play it in that deck. You just rely on your guardian animal for uh, card draw. We haven't seen explosive runes yet. I guess that was maybe a little bit risky if it was a uh, mirror entity, but I just have the, the spellstone. I could have dealt with it. I'm just going to stack armor here. I don't think we lose if we do that. And then we can use this next turn to get to our um, other Twilight Runner. Back in my day, Plague was five mana. I don't want to think about those times. I guess I shouldn't play that this turn. Double draw with a branching pose. Yikes, where are my good cards? It's kind of risky into mere entity, but oh god, bash yourself! <laughs> uh. I have to shuffle here. Well, since I have a tendency to draw Vargoth really quickly, I'm just going to hold the Oaken Summons with the Lightning Bloom and play that out. Oh my god, I saw another 4 mana card and I almost lost it. So next turn we get Oaken Summons into Vargoth easy. Do you have any intentions of actualizing your page? I, I don't know what those words mean together. That's not Vargoth. What's wrong with you? Why are you here? I don't want that uh, getting out of range of this attack. It's a lot of cards. I need I need something to do is really what it comes down to. I need to draw into guardian animals. Same thing. 
All right, next turn at least I have Jade Blossom Hero Power. Dumb Guard. Those are really good discards for me. I don't care if they keep drawing more cards, that just, like, gets them closer to fatigue. Why do you go? Trying to prevent something like that from happening. There we go. Okay. Probably a Spreading Plague turn, and then I followed up with a Lightning Bloom UI. Might be worth uh, playing this for tempo. I don't think we're ever going to be behind in fatigue here. And the attacker might be relevant. Because at this point they probably need to play a Nightshade Matron and that just like draws their deck. Well, it just got fisted. <laughs> it's a good idea in theory. It's a really good guardian animals hit and a good Malfurion hit. Yeah, this is a good spot to be in. So we can go Guardian Animals into Double Grizzly next turn. I don't think you want to be drawing cards. I stand corrected, you apparently do want to be drawing cards. Just all of the cards, yeah. That makes sense. Please don't kill that. Thank you. It's good, but not as good as this. It's a good follow-up, though. Next turn, I can go Ferocious Howl. Ferocious Howl into Spreading Plague. I really think you want to trade this off. He can beat you in fatigue. I mean, they can beat me at taking fatigue damage. I would agree with that statement, yeah. See? Just wait, he has a plan. You're right. <laughs> oh, okay. I must protect the wild. Well, we drew the Witchwood Grizzly again. That's not a card we want to draw. Have you thought uh, to play the new Mechathune Warlock? What's the new Mechathune Warlock, isn't it? The same as the old Mechathune Warlock, just with a worse Kael'thas, so it's slower. But it's new? I don't think it is, though. <laughs> it's the same mecha- it's the same deck as last expansion, like after the, uh, the Blood Bloom nerf, but, like, worse. That's- that's the only thing new about it, is that it's worse. Hey, Ruffle, using a scale from 6 to 9, how much do you like chat? Nice. They run Re Raise Dead now. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you could just shove Raise Dead into any 
and I mean any, like Warlock Priest class, and you'll make, or a deck that already existed, and you just make it better. <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't sound super interesting. I'll maybe try it, but. Raise Dead is super nerfable. Yeah, who would have thought that a zero mana life tap would be, uh, <laughs> would be super good. All right. Um, do I spend this to prevent armor gain? I don't really care about armor gain, do I? Like, I'm just gonna scale into oblivion. So, like, assuming this is dead man's hand, what do I need to kill? Not very much, to be honest. Right? Very important question, which is your favorite all-time Pokemon? Uh, Psyduck, for sure. Easy. Alright, I guess we just throw this out there. Next turn we go Malfurion for Spooters, and then coin out the Acera. This is Dead Man's Hand. We should have a an easy go of it if we just, like, keep our hand size pretty low. There's the idol, so there's really no fear of uh, losing this game now, I don't think. <laughs> Unless Yogg does something stupid, so. That is always a possibility. Possibility? Possibility. Yogg never does anything stupid. You're right, he just works in mysterious ways. That's going to grab the Blood Boil Brute, which is playable this turn. It could also be Bomb Warrior, which I could just out-armor, so. Okay. I only get one minion off of this, but it's still just fine. I think keeping the uh, keeping the coin seems reasonable. Do you think the opponent is running Skulking Geist? Almost certainly not. But I've been wrong before. Missed one armor. How could they ever recover from that? Alright. I can go UI, burn a card, and then coin the, um, the idol. If I want. Always Mechathune? Um, I don't think that you run Mechathune with, like, you need an Emperor Tick, so it's just not good anymore. He would have had a nice 30-30 armor. Yeah, you know what they say, though. Like, hindsight is 30-30, so. All right, I'm overdrawing here, and I just don't care. At least we didn't overdraw the Yogg. I don't really need that. Since I drew most of my beasts, so anyway. Cool. So the attack goes here, and then Whirlwind kills. My positioning could have been better, but... It's not exactly something I have control over. I've only got seven spells in the Yogg pool. That doesn't seem like nearly enough. Pretty good draws from the opponent here. Wait, what? That didn't seem right? No. 
No, it did not. <laughs> We're gonna get brawled here, but I, I need to dump cards. That's really bad positioning. I meant to put the idol there first. It's okay, I don't really want to draw that many more cards anyway with the UI in hand. Suppose it didn't matter anyway. I get the sense that this game is going to drag on. Alright, so this guy dies, but I don't really care about that. Why doesn't Jade Blossom give excess mana? Because it gives you a Jade. So, it does, like, excess mana only occurs when you don't get anything out of the, uh, the card that you play. Or when you otherwise wouldn't get anything out of the card that you play. Oh no! Whatever will we do? Actually, they... What? They didn't dead man's any cold light oracles. What's their win condition? I must choose. I'm almost out of cards. Okay then. Wait, we still have lethal. And by still have lethal, I mean, whoops, I forgot about the, uh, the bulwark. Alright, let's shuffle that. Uh, we don't have to worry about overdrawing anymore because, um, because of reasons. I mean, I still feel like it was fine to play the, uh, the damage there, right? This force is out of brawl or, uh, reckless flurry. Like, they have no win condition. Again, we're in a situation where the only way we can lose is if Yogg does something... Outrageous. Let the pain speak to me. They also apparently don't have a brawl. Perfectly played game of Hearthstone. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, IGN Unknown, Fizzle Jizzix, Molly Mock, Justice Crater, Brokey, Dope Guy 13, and Vanfix.